What's up guys, welcome to another video. This video we're gonna be taking a look at the newest file hub from RAV Power. Now I have reviewed previous iterations of the RAV Power file hubs before. Um, I'll link the, the most previous one right here, a card, if you wanna check that out. Uh, some changes from this version to, from the old version is, this one has 5G wireless, which is really cool. Another cool feature that this guy has is automatic transfer from an SD card to a USB drive, which is what I'm actually doing right now. So if you're in the field and you don't have a computer, um, and you say you're taking pictures with a camera, uh, stick your SD card in here, plug in a USB drive, this is a Western Digital My SSD, and then click this little button on the side here that says SD to USB, right there. You can see SD cards inserted right here. Click this button and it automatically starts transferring your content from your SD card to your USB drive. And you can tell it to either erase the SD card or keep it and just make a copy of it for you know secure purposes. You're out taking camera footage, drone footage, whatever, photographer, and you want to protect that data because that's your bread and butter that you've just spent time on. This will make a backup in the field without a laptop, without a computer. Pretty darn cool. All right, so we're going to take a pretty good look at this. So the app is on iOS and Android, and it's just called Rav File Hub. And so you can see here, so I've loaded it up. I've connected to this guy's personal Wi-Fi hotspot because he is a router on top of everything else, and he's also a battery bank on top of everything else. Yeah, he can charge your devices because he's got built-in battery. But let's go ahead and take a look. So I plugged in, obviously, two storage devices to this guy, connected to his Wi-Fi, and then I bridged him to my home Wi-Fi. So he has this little global thing here showing that he's got internet right now because he can serve internet as a router connected to my home Wi-Fi. So if I'm connected with my phone to this, I'm not dead in the water when it comes to internet because this guy is bridging my internet and passing it through to my phone. Otherwise, I'd be dead-ended. I'd only see content if I connected to this Wi-Fi and did not connect him to my home Wi-Fi internet-wise, I wouldn't get internet. I'd just get content from this guy. Hope that makes sense. So anyway, the Western Digital Drive, you can see here, right now it's showing 476.90 and 474 available. This is actually updating as we speak because there is a transfer going on. I'm transferring the content. And if I click File Management here, you're going to see SD Card Volume 1. USB disk volume one. So this SD card is actually coming from a backup I'm running of this guy. A 28.96 gig SD card with 20 gigs still available. Uh, if I go to file management on this guy, uh, you can see again I've got the SD card volume one and it's got those directories. If I go onto the USB, the SD card backup is taking place. If I go here, it's got some data, 12, 9, 17 videos, 100 video, boom. There's all the files that it's copied from that SD card so far. So pretty darn cool. We're doing an auto copy. Um, right now I can access both of these devices through the app. If I wanted to be quick, uh, if it's inventory, I can click videos. Still says it's empty. Uh, photos, still says it's empty. Now that's if I want to copy data from these devices to the phone. Um, you can back up your contacts to this guy. Uh, photo backups, you can take your photos to this guy. You know, put it on the solid state drive or an SD card from my iPhone. So back up your photos. But let's go into the, the management here. And you can see here, you have Wi-Fi and disk settings that you can go into. There's the 5G. LAN settings uh, gives you a MAC address. Again, this, this guy is actually... Here's the internet, I'm attached to my home, and then system settings, you've got user settings, host name, disk information, all sorts of stuff that you can do. And what's cool is you can stream stuff from this. Uh, if I hit file management, now right now we have a copy going on, but if I came down to video, I'm just going to click on a video that's on one of these devices. This is the SD card, it is loading, <coughs> boom. And I am streaming that. That is streaming from this guy right here. Okay. 
So you can stream. You can take this in the car, have multiple things wirelessly connect to it, movies, whatever, and boom, you can Plug stream it. it. So how cool is that? To be able to stream stuff on the go. Let's see if I can get this go back. Now I don't think this is gonna show any videos yet. No. So and now uh, you can see, let's move back to this guy, see if he's unchanged. Doesn't look like he's changed too much. So you can eject him there. Um, and you can see the battery content of this guy. You can see he's about half charged. Uh, device is connected. Just a whole lot of goodness you can do. So let's go ahead and actually take a look at the device here and see what it has to offer. Now again, I stuck in an SD card. This is the Wi-Fi. You can uh, adjust the Wi-Fi. Look at this. Ethernet? You say, why Ethernet? Well, I can bridge, say if I go to a hotel, or if I'm at home and I have wired Ethernet, plug this in here, now I can create a Wi-Fi of that wired network and connect multiple devices to it. Because you're always limited to one when you got just wired. Plug that in, send out a hotspot hot to multiple devices through one wired connection. That's awesome. Got a Type-C hook up here you can charge type C devices and then this is the USB 3.0 which I have this SSD card hooked into and then again you've got your SD card slot Wi-Fi SD to USB copy and then the power button over here and then on top you've got your lighting showing that I've got internet that's going to have connected to my home Wi-Fi this is Wi-Fi that it's producing this is 5G right now I'm not connected via 5G I'm connected to the 2G this shows that I've got a uh, SD card plugged in and then this is the battery or power that it's actually turned on and again let's go ahead and start a copy because I interrupted it by doing the playing so I'm just gonna hold this in and you're gonna start seeing see that SD card flashing it means I'm actually copying the data now picking up where I left off to this SSD drive and let's see if I can get the data to change here uh, let's go here here this is 474.21 we're on the USB disk SD backup yep got two folders here now as the videos are moving across wirelessly isn't that cool well they're not really wireless it's plugged into this device pumping through the USB SD card to the SSD that is I think for a photographer um, this is an invaluable tool just for this purpose. Not having a computer out in the field doing your work and then just put in an SD card and make a backup copy of it without any, you don't even need an app. I didn't even need an app to do this. I just put this in and I can see it's copying. That's how cool that is. Definitely that alone, that feature puts this up above the others hand over feet. And 5G, awesome. Got to have that in here. Now, um, let's see what the battery bank is on this guy 5200 milliamps uh, 5 volt 2 amp input and 5 volt 1 amp output so it's not going to be the quickest charger out there but it will give you some juice in case you need it in case of an emergency right and that's what this is for so the file hub plus uh, is definitely an item to have you can see here's the iPhone because uh, I'm doing you can see iPhone photos, documents. Again, I can copy this stuff to this guy, but right now I'm just running a copy of my SD card contents to my SD or SSD drive. And again, there are settings in here when you can uh, find them. Uh, let's see, Wi-Fi and disk settings, system settings, user, so you can enter your password, host name, file hub, disk information. Volume 1 available, 29%, so it's got some pretty good little disk settings. Uh, this is the 5G. You can hide your SSD or your SSID out there. Uh, that's what actually the 5G comes across by default. You can pick the channel as auto or pick from a multitude of other channels here in case you have you know, a lot of uh, interference from your Wi-Fi. And mode... Uh, so this has got AC in, uh, security is mixed, WPA, WPA2, PSK, and you can choose from, you know, a couple different ones, enter the password, and uh, good to go. So you can make your uh, Wi-Fi definitely secure, just 
completely cool. I mean, I can't say this is like a awesome, awesome. There's clear backup record. Uh, languages, you can change the language. Let's set to English. So you just, I can't go on and on. Third party players, default third party player settings. So if you wanted to uh, use default players to play media from this, you can listen to music, you can watch movies, all sorts of stuff. Just tons of, I think, see, 47179. Not a lot's changed there, but we still have files copying. So anyway, guys, I'll put a link in the show notes. This is not the last time you've seen this guy. I'm going to do a demonstration of some other stuff that it can do with other devices. Because, yes, this is a multi-functional device that I think should be at the top of your food chain on tech that you want to get. Because this does so much. Uh, and we're going to take advantage of it. Because... We haven't even accessed the router piece of this. I want to show some networking goodness with this. I want to show how you can extend your iPads. Don't go out and buy those 256 gig or a terabyte iPads when you can use this to extend that iPad without even having to spend what Apple gouges you for. So anyway, guys, check the show notes for a link to the RAV Power File Hub and look out more for it. This is just a quick video to talk about some of its cool features. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and as always, guys, thank you for watching, and have a good one. More to come.